So I come on today once again. You know, I'm a little bit uh, sidetracked because I'm going through some things right now in regards to Renee Lindell Take, Regina Washington, and her group of friends, Angelina Edwards, and her kids who grown, who stalking me, and you know, they all crackheads and crack babies and own dope and causing problems and. All this is out of jealousy and hatred and because they want a piece of the pie, want some of my money, want some of my man money, want my life because they want my energy because they see I work with the light and they of the dark and dark need light in order to see. So they think they just going to take my gifts that God gifted me with, not knowing the struggle and the hell I've been through to get it and all the work I put in to get it. You know, what make them think God just going to let them take my gifts away that he gave to me? First off, you can't take a gift that God gave to someone. That's something that's just for them, between him and that individual, and it's for life. Nobody could ever take that, no matter how hard you try, how demonic you are. So I call this girl a demon because that's what she is. She do witchcraft. I'm going to show you all some images where I got some black magic on me and it's obvious and she the only one I know who's a witch and her crew of people so she has everything to do with it her and Angela and it's all good but like I said I have proof to back up what I'm saying um if y'all want to see that she's a criminal her name is Renee Lindell Tate you can go do a background check on her and it's going to clearly state that she has a criminal record, a long list from the time she was young to now. So it just lets you know what type of character she is, person she is, and what type of character she has. Me, I have no record. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here healing. Y'all see? Y'all watching my journey. And y'all see what she about from what y'all hear from me. But if y'all go look her up, y'all see that I'm telling the truth. So why is she over there slandering my name, trying to make me look crazy, trying to say I'm a hoe, but she the one getting paid the hoe around. And I'm just sitting, meditating, praying, focusing, healing, you know, leveling up spiritually, mentally, and physically, trying to um, focus on ideas and projects and, you know, what I can do to build my finances. She over here steady trying to disrupt my life, you know, and cause distractions. And so here I am telling my story. But I'm an open book, wanted to share it because my story may very well help someone else who's in this predicament. And I'm also leaving a paper trail so if I have to go to court, you know what I'm saying? Here it is, my diary, an open book in the public to everyone so that they'll know, you know, she did say this back then. And I'm just keeping like a, a diary of what's going on, but openly. And um, it's funny because she called me yesterday 30 times. And I'm going to show y'all the picture of that. Like I said, I'm going to show y'all proof and backup of it. So that's further proof that she's crazy, number one. Number two, that you're harassing me. And she had a lot of people on the phone. So that's proof you're once again gang stalking me. <laughs> and uh, I got images of the stalker. So I'll show y'all that. And uh, she threatened me every single time she called me from like 11 50 yesterday october the 10th 2021 and she wouldn't stop until about 12 o'clock noon and every time she called she was saying screaming like a mad person from the top of her lungs so she's definitely not stable she's definitely showing signs of her cuckoo and she has a daughter that's a minor and I don't think her daughter needs to be around somebody who's unstable like that. What normal parent would stalk someone, number one, cause drama at 50 years old, because she's old as hell. And who would never have a career like her? She never worked a day in her life. All she ever did was prostitute. But she got these trucks, though. She got all these fancy clothes. How did you get them? You boost. You steal. I don't lie. Then she keep calling me, talking about, you're going to go to jail. You're calling me, harassing me. How am I going to go to jail? I got text messages and numbers to prove it. She calling me for many numbers. And I pick up, so I know your voice. And she's saying who she is. She's saying, I'm gonna kill you and your family, you bitch, y'all gonna die. Uh, you should have never fucked with me. You mess with, you know, just cray cray talk. And when she called, I just be like, ah, la 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 la. Or I laugh, ha 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 Cause I don't give a damn, she not scaring me. She don't pump no fear in me. She only setting herself up for failure. So I'm not worried about nothing. I'm not chasing you down, hunting you down. You're chasing me down, hunting me down. Like I said, you've been doing this off and on for about six years. 
2015, I didn't know you was stalking me. You probably was doing it before then, but that's when I recognize it now, thinking back. 2016, I didn't know you were stalking me until like the end of that year. And that's when I got the hell away from you and your crazy family. And um, you started stalking me ever since. You're gonna be in my life. You're gonna be a part of my life. And I have a witness to that because my kid's father was with me every single time. Cause I don't go nowhere without him. Cause he drives and I don't, so it's all good. So I'm always have a witness. And if you think for a moment, I'm just gonna allow you to kill me, you must be a fool. I will always defend myself and I'm never scared of you, but I will report you. So if you come near me, you will go to jail. You saying I'm gonna go to jail? No, you'll go to jail. Cause what you pulled yesterday, calling me 30 times from different numbers, threatening my family, threatening me, that's a felony. You already probably on probation now. So don't get yourself in trouble. And that's jail time. So why you telling me I'm going to go to jail? Like I said, no, you're going to go to jail. And it's funny how you'll leave a text and you try to talk like you cool and civil. But when you call in on the phone from these different numbers and my kid's father was right there to hear it. So I have a witness. And um, you yelling like a mad person, screaming from the top of your lungs, probably foaming. That's how you sound. The way you screaming and acting on the phone, threatening my kids, but you texting my oldest daughter talking about God daughter, playing victim. She's traumatizing my daughter and this and this and that, trying to reach out to anybody who will listen to your fuckery. So since you trying to set me up with lies, I'm going to tell the truth about you. And here I am in my truth and here I stand and I will go to my grave saying this and I pray to God if any police is listening, take me a lie detector test. And I guarantee you every single thing I'm saying will turn out to be the truth. That's it. That's all. That's all I can say is take me a lie detector test. I don't have to lie. I don't care nothing about her or her crew of friends. They low lives, prostitutes, drug addicts, losers, in and out of prison, criminals, stealing. She mostly steal for a living. She do burglary in the first and second degree, robbing people houses, taking people to rob people houses, uh, the getaway driver, uh, stealing clothes and stuff. She Everything she got, she stole. Everything she got, she stole. She has nothing. That's why she's jealous of me. Because she can go out there and do what I do. You can go out there and get a job. But she choose not to. That's why she fat now. Because all she do is lay on her fat ass back with rolls all on her. She got on a big old t-shirt. I'm going to send y'all a picture of that. Thinking she look fine and good with a wig on. Trying to look like me. Doing her makeup like me. Wearing the same kind of earrings like me. I was like, wow, this is bizarre. She acting like the single white female movie. Did y'all see that movie? If not, go Google it. And y'all see just what I'm saying. She trying to be me, walk like me, talk like me, act like me, wear her makeup like me, her hair like me, her clothes. Like she want to be in competition with me bad. But if I'm your competition, honey, and you trying to be like me, then you don't compare. If you got to do black magic to try to get a man or somebody's man, you really not that cute. Obviously, you're ugly for you to have to do something like that. And I'm putting you out there. I'm not scared of you. And I'll probably get another phone call from her. And I'll be back on here to tell it. So with that being said, here's something else she did. I was talking to my man. And I told him how she tried to rape me, her and her ex-boyfriend, Daryl, who's a crackhead from 83rd Street Gang, who she's affiliated with, that gang. And um, they tried to rape me at his mama's house at an apartment, a white apartment, some years ago. And um, she gonna try to text me yesterday and say, oh, uh, I wish I would have tried to rape your stinky ass. You wish I would have tried to rape you, you demonic bitch. She's trying to say everything I say about her. But no, let's take a lot of detective because You and Daryl really did try to rape me and I fought with all my heart for y'all not to do it. So don't lie, bitch.